Coming up on the Lakeside Loop, Sam Schmidt heads to the state wrestling meet. Natalie Pop shares her recent success in her pageants. Kindergarten students fill the halls of Lakeside. And the musically gifted participates in the WSMA competition. The Loop starts now. Welcome back to the Lakeside Loop. I'm John Lost. And I'm Natalie Pop. Over the past few years, various Lakeside teams have been blessed to make it to the state competition. Last week, senior Sam Schmidt represented the wrestling team at the state competition. Sam tells us more about his exciting opportunity. Hey, it's a big day for not just uh, the Lakeside wrestling team, but for Lakeside athletics in general. And um, I'm really, really excited to, to have this guy compete at the state tournament for us. And um, I pray that he wins tonight, but no matter what the outcome, we know that, that God is with him and, and God is with, with Lakeside. Um, so we have regionals, sectionals, and then you go to state. Um, so I had to take top two at regionals to advance to sectionals, and I took second. And then when I was at sectionals, you had to take top three in order to move on to state, and I ended up taking third. The next day, they put out like a seating bracket, so I got the 10 seed, and then there's there's 12 people in my bracket. Number three, from Lakeside, Lutheran, uh, So I wrestled. Um, a guy from Sugar River, and I, I had wrestled him previously in the year for the conference championship, and I ended up losing that match by three. And then when I wrestled this last Thursday again, I lost six to three. I had a takedown towards the end of the match and came back a little bit, but time was running out and I didn't have a whole lot of time. A lot of the guys that do it have been wrestling since they were really young, like five years old sometimes. I came to a couple open mats, kind of my eighth grade year going into freshman year and learned a little bit about it. And then freshman year, when I got into school, I was gonna try out for basketball, but um, a little convincing from my brother and a few other people led me just to go to wrestling right away. And after the first week, it was, I just really enjoyed it a lot. It takes a lot of hard work, but that's who I am as a person and it kind of just fit me. And so over the last four years, I've worked as hard as I could, my brother, was a huge part of that. He was a senior when I was a freshman and we wrestled every day together and he pushed me kind of to my limits a little bit. You work up a lot of sweat every single day and you're in sore and lots of pain sometimes, but the truth is it helped me to get where I am in the classroom and to be who I am as a person. And I'd like to thank a lot of people. Um, first, my coaches especially. I've had a variety of coaches, but um, all four years I've had Coach Grow and Coach Haley, they've been there for me ever since freshman year. And then along the way, I've added a few, Coach Murray and Pastor Yankee. I look up to all four of them, and they really helped me a lot this year. And I'd also especially like to thank my brother. He, he's been here for me every single day, and he's been at probably just about almost every single one of my wrestling meets, and he knows what it's like to lose those tough matches and to win. And, just everything I've gone through with him my whole life, um, it kind of, he's been a big part of what I was able to accomplish this season. And then obviously, of course, my parents who loved me so much and my freshman year and everything, they were driving me and doing everything when I went through my accident and all of that. Um, they've been a huge part of the person I've become and I'm just so glad for everybody who's helped me along the way. Congratulations, Sam, on an excellent career in wrestling at Lakeside. Students here at Lakeside have many unique experiences, one of those being winning the title of Miss Madison's team. This student will go on to compete in the upcoming Miss Wisconsin's team competition and even have a shot at making Miss America's team. Not only Pop shares more about her experiences competing in the pageants. Our Miss Madison's team 2024 goes to contestant number four, Natalie. <laughs> So 
a couple years ago, I sang the national anthem at a Mallards game, and there I met the current Miss Madison, Grace Stanky, and she talked to me about all the benefits you get from competing, from scholarships to also interview skills. And I was too young at that time, but definitely got me interested. And then she became Miss America last December, so that was incredible to see her go through her journey. And I competed that January at Miss Madison, where I got first runner-up. And then I competed at the Harbor Cities competition, where I won that title, where I went off to compete at Miss Wisconsin. And then I competed again this year at Miss Madison, and I won that title. The morning of the competition, you have a 10-minute private interview with the panel of judges. And during this, you're talking about first your community service initiative. Everyone who competes has to choose a community service initiative, which is something that they find is an important issue in America and to themselves. And for me, I chose the importance of teaching teens about honoring our veterans within their communities. So through my community service initiative, Teens for Heroes, I've created this within our own school and I hope to share it around schools, not only in Madison, but around the whole state, and teach them a step-by-step -step guide and how they can create the club within their own school and the different groups they can partner with. So with my community service initiative, I do different appearances related to it, and one of them was with this thing called Pulling for Honor, where I volunteered at and they're raising money for their basically honor flight for their veterans. And people sign up to pull this huge plane. I was a volunteer, I volunteered for the kid plane pull. And you, when you think of kids, you're thinking of a plastic little plane, but it was actually an 8,000 pound plane. And since they're really young kids with some Damien and I parents, I'd had to help them pull it every time for multiple hours that day and my hands were um, all messed up after, but it was definitely worth it because it was definitely a fun experience to be able to do. The kids that, and they wrote cards for our veterans, and then I got 60... That afternoon, you have, first off, is the honor stage question, which is geared towards your community service initiative. And then after that, you have a talent portion, which I do vocal singing. This is my And then after that, you have the fitness portion, which is just making sure that you're going to be a good fitness ambassador for the organization. And then after that is evening gown, where you're just showing your poise in different situations. You can only benefit from the organization. First off, it gives you a platform to share something you're passionate about, whether it's forensics, whether it's sports, whether it's mental health, all these things, and it just gives you a further outreach to so many more people through social media and through your appearances. You also have the opportunity to build your interview skills, things that you're going to need for job interviews and for careers. That's super important to be able to be a good interviewer in your life. Good luck on your next pageant. If you stopped by Lakeside on Monday of last week, you'd have said the students at Lakeside were looking a lot younger. The average age was five years old. Kindergarten students from the Federation came to visit Kinderfest. Mr. Lauber explains what happened. Kinderfest, we had 19 of our 20 schools that came to Lakeside. Uh, this year's theme was senses, so anything above the neck, um, sight, smell, hearing, taste. Uh, a lot of the stations that they went to dealt with that and how cool God is, cool God made from here up, is worth millions and millions of dollars. Uh, we just got some really neat tools that he gave us to use here on earth. Uh, we had a petting zoo which always goes over real well. We had a laser beam obstacle course. This year something was new. We had choir where the kids could sing and they made a neat little song. All 280 kindergartners went through there, had some science experiments. It was just fun. I think it's just to get kids in here uh, just to see the school. We had about 100 parents that came with also. We're a different high school. Uh, we have kids and they pretty much run all of Kinderfest. Uh, but our kids, what makes them different is they all have the same faith here at Lakeside. Uh, it's something different that we don't see around the state of Wisconsin. Everyone's mixed and who knows what you believe, but we all believe along with the teachers the same thing. So even at an early age, it's neat to let parents and even little kids know that Jesus is here. We hope the students enjoyed their day and come back to visit soon. And now, it's time for a Federation Flyby. Teens from all around the area came to St. Peter's and Helenville to participate in their teen retreat. Over 50 teens participated, getting to have lots of fun while still strengthening their faith in Jesus. They did many activities, including dodgeball, capture the flag, a scavenger hunt in the woods, and a candlelit jam session in the church to end the night. The theme for this year's teen retreat was Let Go, Let God. It was meant to help everyone realize that we need to let go of our worries, our sins, and everything else that's on our minds because we need to let God do His work in us and for us. 
The event was held to help make friendships, memories, and a stronger faith. Pastor Titus said, This weekend was one of the most memorable moments of my ministry. I don't know if I will hear more beautiful music until I hear the angels and the saints singing together in heaven. The next teen retreat will be held next year on February 1st and 2nd, so make sure to put it on your calendar. If you would like your school to be featured on the next Federation Flyby segment, make sure to contact Mr. Hackbarth. This past weekend, a host of Lakeside students participated in the Wisconsin School Music Association competition. This competition is for those students gifted in musical instrument playing or singing. Some students performed individually, while others competed in groups. Hayden Shane here fills us in on the details of the weekend. So last weekend, I was in the jazz ensemble for Lakeside, and we performed two songs in front of the judge, Strutting with some Barbecue and Faith. And I am the first tenor saxophone for the jazz band, and I had a solo in our first song. Students from all around in our conference come together to share their musical abilities and try to compete with each other to see how, how far they can make it. So if you get the highest rank, if the judge gives you the highest rank, then you go on to state, which is held at UW-Whitewater, where you compete with students from all over the state. Our jazz band got the second highest rank, so we did not make it to state this year, sadly. There are many different piano solos, vocal solos, many different categories. Some even are in different languages. And there are also some percussion pieces that you can play, and there's just there's something for everybody. So as a jazz band, we met pretty much three times a week before school, and I also put in quite a bit of time learning our music, getting it ready to prepare with the group. I like being in jazz because it's something different than normal band. It's got a different style, and it's just fun to be a big part of the group since there's not many people in our, in our band. God certainly has blessed the students of Lakeside. Congratulations on the amazing results. And now, you're in the loop. I'm John Lost. And I'm Natalie Pop. Thanks for watching.